everyone. It's time for Abby Wabbit. So what are we going to do today, Abby? We're going to do another science magic activity kit experiment. That's right. Today's experiment is going to be called the magic beaker. This experiment is also going to be a little bit of magic too. Mm -hmm. So Abby has two cups in front of her. Which are these ones? We are going to add warm water and mm -hmm. a scoop of citric acid to one cup. And then we're going to add a scoop of sodium bicarbonate to the other cup. So that means we're going to have one cup that's an acid and one cup that's a base. Then we're going to do some pH magic. Let's get started. We're going to add 10 milliliters of warm water to each cup. Now to one cup, we're going to add one big scoop of sodium bicarbonate. This is our base. To the other cup, we're going to add one big scoop of citric acid. Okay, and now Abby's going to mix them both up until they are dissolved. So Abby has finished diluting the citric acid on the left and the sodium bicarbonate on the right. I think it's the other way around. The sodium bicarbonate is going to be on Abby's left and on Abby's right is the citric acid. All right. So while Abby was doing that, mommy mixed together 50 milliliters of um, water and red cabbage powder, which made a dark purple color. Mm. Now here is where the magic comes in. What colors make purple? Red and blue. All right. So we're gonna take your acid and your base and we're gonna make colors. Abby has mixed her acid, which is red, and her base, which is blue. So all we did was add water, citric acid, sodium bicarbonate, and red cabbage powder. We turned a purple liquid into a red and a blue liquid. Now what do you think is gonna happen if we mix the red and the blue together? Purple. You're gonna get, we're gonna get back to purple. Mm -hmm. We started with purple, and then we made red and blue. You think we're gonna get purple? Mm-hmm, because red and blue also make purple. We have one more clear cup. Of nothing. And Abby's going to pour both the red and the blue together into the clear cup. And we're gonna see if it makes purple. Do you know why the red and the blue liquids fizzed when they got in contact with each other? Why? The fizzing happened because the solutions released carbon dioxide as part of their chemical reaction. Ooh. We have been learning all about the pH scale. Mm -hmm. Yep. And how very important staying neutral is. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Bye.